In the heart of the Bay Area, the city of San Mateo is celebrating a big step toward improving safety at one of the most dangerous rail crossings in California. With the San Mateo County Event Center just across the street to the east and the bustling Hillsdale Shopping Center less than a mile to the west, East 25th Avenue is one of the only ways to get from one side of the Caltrain tracks to the other in the Hillsdale neighborhood. And the intersection where the tracks cross the road here is one of the California Public Utilities Commission top priorities for safety improvements. It's a very busy crossing. It was identified as one of the highest ranked uh, crossings in terms of security for the uh, California PUC. After years of planning, safety improvements are finally being made, thanks to a partnership between the Peninsula Corridor Joint Powers Board and the city and county of San Mateo and the California High Speed Rail Authority. Crews will build a grade separation by raising the tracks and making the road slightly lower at East 25th Avenue, eliminating the risk of a train hitting anything or anyone on the track. Ultimately, by raising the rail into a different elevation than the road, we just preclude the possibility of trains, cars, trains people, trains or bikes interacting with each other. With 92 Caltrain trains passing through every weekday, it will also reduce local traffic backups and improve air quality, since drivers won't have to idle at a crossing anymore. Additionally, this project will complete grade-separated east-west street connections at 28th and 31st Avenues, which currently dead end on either side of the tracks. And Caltrain will build a new, improved Hillsdale station to the north at 28th Avenue. A ceremonial groundbreaking marked the beginning of the work on the $180 million project made possible through a funding agreement. As interim CEO Tom Felins explains, the authority agreed to contribute $84 million, but only after the city and the county of San Mateo worked out a funding plan for the rest of the project. This is an example of advancement in our system that is a result of partnership with the local transportation authorities, and that is really the way things, things get done. The San Mateo grade separations will also make the future blended system along the peninsula safer, when high-speed rail and Caltrain will both operate in a shared corridor. While the authority's goal is to grade separate the entire high-speed rail system statewide, it will take time and more partnerships like this one. And we're looking for opportunities to partner with other transportation agencies to combine funding and efforts to get some of these grade separations completed. With construction expected to last two to three years, the city of San Mateo seems to be fully behind the project. A lot of support from the community. I think it's one of those projects that people really see the need for. I'm looking forward to actually getting a shovel on the ground. <laughs>